Hey everyone, this is Pete with Looking Diecast, and today I am seeing red. No, 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 I'm not in a bad mood. I'm actually in a great mood because I've got the second three cars of the 2020 Target Red Edition. I've also got some of the regular releases so we can compare them. All of that is coming right up. The Target Red Edition is a 12 car sub-series in the Hot Wheels mainline. I'm going to go through these in order and the first is number 4 of 12. This one is a perennial favorite, the Bone Shaker. This release of the Bone Shaker is beautiful in white enamel. It's got a nice glossy coat. On the side is a skull biting down with its fangs into that Hot Wheels logo. Skull has a mohawk and is crazy looking. This is awesome. There's also an HW on the back panel. This is the closed root version of the Bone Shaker. One thing the Bone Shaker has is chrome and lots of it. The interior is chrome, the motor is chrome, and so are the side pipes. The front has that iconic chrome skull. The wheels are PR5s with red chrome rims. Here it is compared to the mainline release. I'm not sure which one I like better. Boy, these are both super nice. Up next, number 5 of 12 is the Aston Martin Vulcan. This is a beautiful exotic car that they debuted last year in the main line. True to its name, the red edition of the Aston Martin is red. A very, very dark metallic red. There's white stripes and the Aston Martin logos on the hood. The windows are tinted and the interior is black. The rear wing is part of the interior. The red edition is almost an opposite of the main line, which has red stripes on a white body. The wheels are RA6 spokes these are the Ryu Asada six spokes in black. You can see here that the wheel type was changed from the mainline issue that had black 10 spokes. Last up for this show is the Tooligan, number six of 12. This is one of those fun cars in the Experimoner series. This is a clever design, really clever design that's a must for all the handy men and handy women out there. The first mainline release this year was green, so it's way different than this black release. There's red striping on the side, and it says Cartier Toolworks on the side. There's even a tiny red ruler along the bottom. The base is on painted metal, and the base comes up to become a 3 8 inch wrench for a spoiler. It has red tinted windows and red Trap 5 chrome wheels. One of the best features of this casting is the 1 quarter inch hex on the bottom. You can actually fit a screwdriver bit in here and use it as a tool. I know these fantasy cars typically get passed over by Sears collectors, but this clever casting is one you definitely want to have in your toolbox. So that's it for now, kind of short video. I'm hoping to find more of these red editions. The next releases coming up are the 68 Shelby GT500, the Custom Auto, which I'm really excited to look for, and the McLaren P1. Comment, like, subscribe. I want to hear if you're having any luck getting out there to find some of these retail exclusives. Thanks for watching, and of course, enjoy the ride.